Hey, Booktube. I'm recording videos, babe. Plural style. Yeah. Um, so today, I want to talk to you about a big man. Um, it's funny, because I started reading this book a long time ago, then I misplaced it. Um, and then started it over. And then... Didn't misplace it, but it was kind of not where I could get to it immediately. And so had to start it over a third time. Like, oh, excuse me, baby. Yeah, it does. And you know what? I will say, I know the beginning of this book really well. Yes. Um, what tripped me out about this book is that on the cover, it says, The best Western novel I have read. <laughs> John Wayne. What the hell? <laughs> Why are you doing this right now? Because I'm boiling and I'm not <laughs> What did you do? Did you break it? <sighs> no, I just can't get that side. Don't mind me, Booktube. I don't have <laughs> 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 You gotta pull the thing out because you went behind it. Just start Here. again. I'm not going to start again. All right. So anyway, can you like, maybe you just go outside for a little bit. <laughs> go out on the prairie. Oh, there. Done it. Oh, no. Done it. Good job, babe. Ooh. Almost, <laughs> you almost cracked everybody there, huh? All right, so anyway, back to Hondo. So, John Wayne says this is the best novel he's ever read. Well, I looked into it, and it turns out that this novel was a novelization of the movie Hondo that Louis L'Amour wrote. So, um, it was based on a short story um, that that's probably where... I'm assuming John Wayne read it. Um, but he not only might have read that story, but he read the script because he was in Hondo. There's Hondo line. And um, so the best Western novel I've ever read. I think that is... Um, what's the word I'm looking here? Looking for? Oh, crap. No, babe. Um... <laughs> Like, he's biased. He is Hondo. So, I don't know. I, I just found that odd. <clears throat> um, I was trying to see if I could actually find when John Wayne read the book. Um, now, Google Bean is as amazing as it is. It's not that amazing. Um, so, basically, what the story is about is... Um, they're in Apache territory and there's this lady and she's um, got this little ranch out in the middle of nowhere and it's supposed to be her, her husband and her son. Um, Hondo shows up and she's like, well, my husband will be back really soon. He's just out, blah, blah, blah. And then he's noticing how like messed up and not taken care of a bunch of the stuff is around and he's like, oh, okay, so he ain't coming back. Like, that's what's happening. Apache's probably got him. Um, and then when she finds out who he is, she's, like, kind of flabbergasted because she's kind of... <sighs> We're going to be building our own offices here soon. So we won't have people slamming windows and dogs coming up into our faces when we're talking it's okay babe i think you're wonderful <laughs> um so anyway the funny thing about this is after finishing it is that in my black star books they're the sheriff's name is sheriff reagan and reagan um I can't remember if it's the second book or the third book. I think it's the second book. The whole book, all he wants to do is, like, 
leave the station, go home, and watch Hondo. Because Hondo is going to be on TV. And um, so everything is kind of revolving around for his story, him trying to get um, home to do that. And when I read this, because like I saw a bunch of John Wayne Westerns when I was growing up. My grandpa loved John Wayne Westerns. My stepdad loved John Wayne. So whenever like Channel 5 or Channel 13 or Channel 9 was doing like a um, John Wayne weekend, whatever, like that we were screwed. That's what we were doing. And when I was a kid, I dug it. And then when I was getting a little bit older, I was really annoyed by it. But now um, I think I find it charming a bit. But... It's, there's so many similarities to me between what I ended up writing for Reagan and Blackstar as there is for Hondo in this book. And um, it blew my mind. It made me just like go, wow, like, was this that, like, influential on me at a young age that a lot of the narrative and subplots of this kind of sunk into what I ended up doing years later. Um, so when I was telling Zoe about what was going on in this book, I was like, Oh my gosh, blah, 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 blah. And now I feel like if I say anything to you, I mean, I guess it's like a gajillion years old. It's not really, <sighs> It's not really spoiling anything. If you if you don't want any spoilers, just stop the video now. But basically, so um, he has to go back to his Calvary. The Apaches are pissed off. Um, Hondo ends up running into this dude and killing him. And when he pulls a picture out of this guy's pocket, it is the wife and kid. And he's like, oh my god, I just killed... Um, the husband of this woman who was a great woman who was super nice to me and blah, 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 blah. And so he wants to go back and tell, like, what happened. This other dude starts blackmailing him. Um, this, that. I don't know. It's just, it's a good story. To me, it even though it is very short, it's still steel. It still feels slower than, um, what I have been reading, which is, um, a lot of like Johnstone, William W. Johnstone. <clears throat> I read, um, another Louis L'Amour book about a month ago, whose name, um, escapes me which isn't a good sign usually, but that story I felt was a lot more, I don't want to just say action packed. It was just a better story than Hondo, but this is really, really good. Um, it's just not as good as I'd hoped. I think I built up a lot of, um, hype for it. I mean, John Wayne says it's the best Western novel he's ever read, and he's read two. So, um, that's pretty awesome. So anyway, if you haven't read this, I definitely suggest you pick it up and give it a read. Um, but yeah, um, that's it. I'm all out of sorts. I had windows and dogs. I know. I'm so sorry distracting you. No, it's okay. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. She's like... <laughs> we can still see you, babe. Still could see you a little bit there. Really? Yeah. <laughs> She's like hanging off the edge here. Okay. Um, so anyway, let me know what you think down below. Um, do you think Hondo is an overrated Western? Um, do you think it holds its own against other greats? Are there books that you think are a hundred times better than Hondo? In fact, if you could name me some Louis L'Amour books that are better than Hondo, 
with a caveat of if it is in a series like the Sackett Family series, I am wanting to read those, but with everything else, I really like to read things in order. So if the first couple Sackett books aren't very good, I don't know how I'm going to continue through that. But I have heard good things about that series. <sighs> so anyway, let me know down below what you think, and um, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.